Imagine you just won the lottery. Millions of dollars. Where do you put it? A bank account, of course. But how much can you actually deposit? Is there a limit? Let's find out. Have you ever wondered if there's a maximum amount you can deposit into a bank account? Some people think there's a limit, but the truth is, it's more complicated than that. Before we dive into the specifics, let's understand a few key terms. First, there's the FDIC insurance limit. This is the maximum amount the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation will insure your deposits in case a bank fails. Currently, the FDIC insurance limit is $250,000 per depositor, per bank, per ownership category. So, if you have joint accounts or retirement accounts, the limits can be higher. Next, we have the bank's internal limits. While the FDIC insurance limit is a federal regulation, banks can also set their own internal limits on deposits. These limits can vary depending on the bank, the type of account, and other factors. Deposit limits. So, how much can you actually deposit into an account? The answer depends on a few things. FDIC insurance limit. As we mentioned earlier, the FDIC insurance limit is $250,000 per depositor, per bank, per ownership category. This means you can deposit up to $250,000 in a single account without worrying about losing your money if the bank fails. Banks internal limits. Banks may have their own internal limits on deposits. These limits can be higher or lower than the FDIC insurance limit. If you're planning to deposit a large amount of money, it's a good idea to check with your bank to see what their limits are. Account type. The type of account you have can also affect the deposit limit. For example, some banks may have higher limits for savings accounts than for checking accounts. Banks policies. Banks may have other policies that affect deposit limits. For example, some banks may require you to provide additional documentation if you're depositing a large amount of money. Case studies. Let's look at a few examples to illustrate these points. Example 1. John wins the lottery and wants to deposit $1 million into his checking account. While the FDIC insurance limit is $250,000, John's bank may have a higher internal limit. However, John may need to provide additional documentation to verify the source of the funds, asterisk. Example 2. Maria is saving for a down payment on a house. She wants to deposit $50,000 into her savings account. Since the FDIC insurance limit is $250,000, Maria doesn't need to worry about her money being at risk, asterisk. Example 3. David is a business owner who wants to deposit $100,000 into his business checking account. The bank may have higher limits for business accounts, but David may need to provide additional documentation to verify the source of the funds, asterisk. So, there's no definitive answer to the question how much money can you deposit into an account? The amount you can deposit depends on the FDIC insurance limit, the bank's internal limits, the type of account, and the bank's policies. If you're planning to deposit a large amount of money, it's a good idea to check with your bank to see what their limits are. You may also want to consider spreading your deposits across multiple banks to take advantage of the FDIC insurance limit. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.